Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be testing the Spedix IS30 Amp ESC. Now this is not a new ESC, it's been out for a while. Spedix is a manufacturer for a lot of companies and um, they're just kind of like AirBot, but I think a lower version grade of AirBot, it's cheaper. And sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not. So hopefully this one is good. Now, uh, the reason why I picked some more up, it's because now these are $10. Now these are only DSHOT 600 ESCs, they're rated for 30 amps, and they take up to a 4S LiPo, as you can tell right there. Now, uh, if, we could take, if we take a look here, we do have a heatsink. This is a heatsink. So that's very nice to see. It keeps the MOSFETs all cool. The FETs are all on one side. It's pretty small, actually. Let's get a size comparison here. It's um, it's very nice size. It's 14.16 millimeters in width and uh, in length. Let's just see here. 23.42. So 23.42 in height. Uh, all the wires are... No, not all the wires. These two are silicone. The power wires are silicone. This is not silicone or maybe hybrid silicone in a way. So let's take a look at the backside here. And uh, if we take a look here, we see we do see it has some pretty nice filtration on board. We have one fat tantalum capacitor right there, and we have an array of caps here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight capacitors on board. Good to see, very good to see. Now, this thing costs $10, which is awesome if it performs good. Now, what I want to do is compare this with the current best budget ESC on the market. Well, on the one that I have tested, which is the Flycolor Raptor 30 Amp BLS. And I'll leave a link to that one down below. That one performed absolutely spectacular. And uh, I'm cu it's a little bit cheaper. Also, it's like $2 cheaper when you get all four. And I'm very curious to see how well this one's going to perform. So this just look it looks nice. It looks good. And... Um, that's all I could really say right now, guys. So enough talking, and uh, let's start preparing it and jump to the four motor testing setup. So let's get going. Alright guys, so the results are in for the Spedex IS30. And uh, this used to be a pretty expensive ESC, as I remember correctly. It used to be around $20, and now it dropped down to $10. Bucks. So, how did it do? Well, it actually did very good. Actually, very, very good, to be honest. So, let's put this into perspective. So, first on top here, we have the throttle noise levels. 10% throttle, warm up the motor, 25%. 50, 75%, and 100% throttle. Both of these are exactly the same. Bottom is simulated aggressive flight maneuvers. So, other than the fact that it has a couple nasty voltage spikes, I mean, it jumped up to around 25 volts here. So, it's okay. It's not bad, but, you know, I've seen better. But that's not a problem. It's not consistent. I'll show you one in the next video. You'll see in another ESC. I tested how terrible the another one was. But anyways, let's just jump back to this one. So, this one is considered now in our budget range of class of BL Heli S ESCs. And uh, the current best, one of the best budget BL Heli S ESCs is the Maytech, uh, sorry, not the Maytech, the Flycolor Raptor 30 amp ESC. I'll leave a link down below. So let's put this into perspective. Let's get that one's throttle level. So this is the Flycolor and this is the IS30, the Spedex IS30 that we just tested. Uh, they're pretty pretty close to each other they're actually pretty good both of them are very good ESCs actually so if we can see both of them they're okay I mean this kind of looks a little bit weird but it doesn't translate into the FPV video feed 
and so does this looks absolutely clean both you know they're both pretty good so let's jump away from the throttle noise and let's go to the simulated aggressive flight maneuvers all right so now what we do is we have on the left the simulated aggressive flight maneuver from the fly color and this is from the is 30 the spedex and they're both pretty damn good like really really good um the spedex did an absolutely phenomenal job you could totally see what it's trying to do here other than the fact that it had a couple little nasty voltage spikes but other than that i think if you just added one low esr capacitor to the whole board or the whole quadcopter just one like a thousand or a 470 that'll fix that right up and it'll it's going to be a proper esc so these two are in the same tier the fly color and the spedex is30 are both very very good budget escs the fly color escs uh budget test or real world testing which is fly i have it set up currently i'll be testing it in a couple days um and to see how well this performs. and after we're going to go ahead and jump to the is30 real world testing so in theory both of these should perform absolutely spectacular and um yeah i was very impressed to be honest this is very nice ten dollar esc beautiful absolutely beautiful um if you want a little bit better comparison let's take hmm here's the hack rc bundle that bundle was pretty insane it comes with the flight controller but they are bill holly 32 escs however if you buy them separately they're pretty cheap they perform pretty good pretty good but the spedex here performs slightly if not better so yeah this this is it i'm not saying this is crap i'm just saying this performed better these still are both good results all three of them good amazing results for cheap escs you know, i've seen some expensive ones perform shittier than this so overall the spedex is30 is a nice little budget beast now it's considered budget it used to be a premium esc but now since the price dropped it's a budget esc and it's a beautiful ass budget esc and i'm very happy to see that i've heard a lot of good things about them i also have the four in one version of this and i just tested it but i'm not gonna say anything until that video comes out it could be the one after it could be the one before it i don't know but we'll see um but currently this is a 100 percent go on bench testing and the motors did sound smooth i really like that and uh yeah here are the results for yourself guys so i really hope you guys enjoyed the content please consider joining my patreon it'll really support the channel i need all the support i could possibly get and uh you can also use the links down below those greatly support the channel and that's it guys i really hope it helps someone out there and i will see you next time see you guys take care